I see somebody coming. Is that Tina? I think it is. Yep, she made it. Yay. Okay, she's going to park. Hey everybody, Kathy here. Happy Thanksgiving. It's November 23rd and I've started on my um, cross and my butterfly. I made the outline anyhow. And I got some some of the black stones in the middle already. But that's what I'm working on today. I have company though. Tina made it from Michigan. Doing the same thing I'm doing. Uh, we'll meet her later. Sorry for the shake. See, I got my rock table started. I like the rocks here. They're bigger, but they're not as crystally, but they're still shiny. I got some in there. You see. So that's a good start. I don't have to wash these ones like the other ones so much because they're smooth. They're clean already. And there's not so many bees here at all. And I haven't had any bugs. I haven't seen any bugs. And uh, we both have these dryer sheets all over the place on the ground, on the doors. <clears throat> yeah, anything that helps. I heard about little mice. I met the lady that lives over there. She's traveling with her husband and two dogs. And she said she was here last month and she saw two tarantulas and little bitty mice. So, yeah, it's good to know. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to go for a walk. I want to introduce you to Tina. Say hi, Tina. Hi, hi. Tina. She's from Michigan. She's escaping the snow also. So we're going to go for a walk, try to get some rocks, and uh, later on we're going to do a tour of her rig. Some nice scenery. We are at the Big River Flats in Earp, California. That's a cute setup. Wow. Oh. We climbed on top of a hill. It's almost a mountain. So peaceful out here. There's quite a few campers here. You can see Tina and I's way over there. Kind of see it. There. We're finding rocks, but they're not as sparkly, most of them. But they got a lot of real pretty orange ones. And I found a couple blue ones. So we're just going to walk around. Yep. Okay, we decided to walk down to this wash area. She's way ahead of me. I'm picking up rocks. Yeah. If you look really closely in the little ones, there's all kinds of pieces of different kinds of gems, stones, different colors that have been beaten to death, I guess, and now they're They've broken from their main rock. Wow. All right, we made it down to the wash. We went all that way and I passed up so many good rocks. My bag's half full already. Tina says there's colorful ones down there. All along here. Should I go down there, you guys? I have to be able to carry this bag back up. Look, see, that's only a quarter full. Oh, I got plenty of room. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but I've been finding quite a few of these kind of rocks, and it looks like they're 
sparkling gold. Can you tell? I'm trying to get the different. I think you can tell. I've been picking those up too. I don't know how you would get gold out of a rock like that. Hmm. See the spider webs on that um, rock? Tina said that is from tarantulas. And I believe her. She knows. Ooh, look at that tree. That's nice. And they have green branches. Somebody had did a video and they said what the name of that tree was and I don't remember. I think this is one too. Is a community right here. We're not going to disturb them though. No, we're just going to walk on by. There's a lot of these cactuses in this area. I'm not sure what they're called. There's a big bird flying. Let's see if I can catch it. Hey everybody, catch it. I can't Kathy see. here and today we're going to meet Tina. Hi. <laughs> Tina is from Michigan. From Detroit, Michigan, right? Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. And she drove here. Well, tell us, why did you why did you decide to do this? I just wanted to see the United States. I just never traveled a lot around in the United States and never realized how beautiful it was. And I right, because you would go over to other countries right. thinking only other countries were beautiful, right? Right. Yeah, and the United States is really beautiful, and I wanted to uh, see as much of it as I could. Right. But Tina did something that I would never have done. She quit her job. Yes, I did quit my job. I just quit early. I officially retire next year. So, so she took an early retirement. I just wanted to get out of Michigan before winter. Right. <laughs> I didn't want to see snow ever again. I know. I know. I felt the same way. I was like escaping the snow. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your vehicle. I have a 2002 BT Cruiser. It's a small RV as far as the RVs go. Um, so 20 feet? 20 feet long. It is on a Ford E350 Super Duty van. Mm. Perfect size for me. Perfect size for one person. So. Yes, I love the size of her vehicle. It's really good. It's a, and she couldn't take so much sto stuff with her like I could. So... That was really a blessing because... Yeah, because there's not much storage in it. Yeah, she don't have to mess with so much stuff like I do. Yeah, so I really had to cut back on the amount of stuff that I took with me. I had to get rid of a lot of possessions. Yeah, and that's hard. But yeah. Some things were hard to get rid of, others... The more you got rid of stuff, the more light you feel, you know? The yeah. More just feel free of junk you've accumulated for so many years. You know? That's true wonder. I remember I was like, why did I save this now, you know? But there was things that was hard to get rid of. You know, pictures, sentimental gifts from the kids. Yeah. Those were hard. Alright, so how about we go inside and see your vehicle? Is that sure. fine? Yeah, let's do that. All right. That's going to take me a minute. All right, this is Tina's vehicle. We're going to go in and see it right now. Yeah, and um, Tina named her vehicle Wilson. After what? After the volleyball in Cast, the movie Castaway. Okay, I didn't see that movie, so I don't remember. Yeah. So she's got a volleyball up there with a, it looks like a mohawk on his head. It's his hair. His hair. That's pretty cool. All right. 
We're ready to go inside? Yes. We're ready. Ready when you are. Come on in. Okay, there's her kitchen. She's got a microwave up there. And a stove. Got a nice sink. Nice cupboards, cabinets. She got a spice rack right there. Man, I wish I had room for one of those. There's a fan. This okay. couch that folds out. I put a three inch foam mattress on top of that to make it nice and comfy. That's where I sleep. And then my dinette area. Does that fold down as a bed too if you want? No, because I tore half of it out. Oh. So I put in the drawers there to give me some extra storage for my clothes. You just got one of those kind you get by at the store? Yeah. Like a plastic one? Yeah. A pretty one though. And she has storage under her table. Nice big windows with reflectics. Nice cabinets. It's got quite a bit of storage. Not, you know, is it enough storage for you, do you feel? Yeah, it's plenty. There's plenty? Yeah. See, because you just don't need all that stuff, do you, like I do? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I got a lot of stuff I don't need. She got big windows on both sides. That's really nice. Okay, it has air conditioner. Do you ever use it? No. You haven't used it yet? No, I haven't used it yet. This cord is attached to my inverter for my solar panels that's on the roof. Okay. And that's how I get my power. Okay, and when you need to use you can just plug stuff into that. I need one of those so bad. I really do. There's her TV. Your refrigerator. What are we talking about? Just like, yeah, say, you know, how big your refrigerator is. I don't know how big it is. Oh, you don't want to open it? It's, it's a fridge. Yeah, she got a, uh, the same size fridge I have. Full plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room in the freezer. Yep. Okay, there's the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom. And it's a it's a full bath. She's got a shower, you know, and a full size toilet, a sink with with uh, some counter space. So the vehicle is twenty feet long, but it's still plenty of room for everything she needs. There's a fan vent in there. Do you have a fantastic fan? Yeah, it's over. In the middle of there. Oh, okay, that middle one is a fantastic fan. So, this is... And there's plenty of headroom. I'm like 5'9", and there's plenty of headroom here, so... Yep. It's really nice. How much gas do you say you get, do you, uh, gas miles? Do you have any idea? I don't know. I haven't added it all up yet. I haven't kept track. Okay, I know me neither. So. 